Hello everyone. It's been a while since I've made a video or put anything up here really. This is going to be a real short and simple video. Um, after seven years of being vegan, I can honestly say that I am no longer vegan, no longer plant-based. I had things develop and uh, actually turns out uh, eating plant-based uh, brought these problems on. One of the things a lot of people don't know when they start into the vegan lifestyle of eating is, um, well, one of the things that's real common is GERD, uh, gastroesophageal reflux disease. Um, they also don't tell you that it uh, damages the lining of your stomach. Um, I'm on blood pressure medicine. The doctor hopes I should be able to get off of that within 90 days. I'm hoping so. Um, yeah, this is a difficult thing to do, but um, I have started understanding that the human diet that we should be on, the perfect human diet, um, is animal-based. It's uh, how we were designed. It's what our bodies need. Um, the bioavailability of protein, for one, uh, while you get it to about 98% um, that absorbs into your body and is used for the nu nutrition your body needs, um, eating animal-based, uh, plant-based, you only get about 30% of that, sometimes 40%. Uh, that's why you see a lot of uh, vegan bodybuilders saying that uh, you need to double your protein. So now they've got all these uh, ways to add extra protein. But it just doesn't cut it. Ethically, it's hard. It's something I've struggled with, this decision, for a while now. But been listening to the doctors um, on YouTube that specialize in this, and uh, I highly recommend if anyone's interested in looking at what I'm talking about, um, Dr. Ken Berry, um, Dr. Anthony Chafee, and um, Dr. Sean Baker are all doctors that I remember. Re highly recommend uh, you checking out um, if you have health issues, diseases that are not being cured uh, with a plant-based diet then I highly suggest you look into these now I know a lot of you are going to be upset about this um, we go through phases when you're hit with an obstacle um, first you're in denial I was in denial for quite a while. Then you get mad. That's your angry phase. Then you come to acceptance. And that's where I'm at. I'm not going to the fourth level, which is depression. I'm not going there. I strongly believe in animal rights. They should be treated humanely. Um, I'm still adamant supporter that the whales should not be hunted. There, there I go. I still support Sea Shepherd. But when it comes to humans and the, what we're supposed to be eating... Now, see, that's another thing, too. Some people are like, oh, I've been vegan for life. Okay. Let me explain something to you about the human body. Everyone's body is different. And it's our genetics... It's our ancestors. So what your parents ate will affect what your body is designed to eat. Same thing as what their parents ate. So you're going back a couple generations. And people who start off from a baby or a young child being vegan, 
eating plant-based only, their bodies grow that way. They design that way as they're growing. But once you're a full-grown adult, especially my age, I'm 53, our bodies were not designed to eat plants. Sorry. A lot of it's political, a lot of it's emotional, but money is still at the bottom of everything when it comes to this whole new fad or um, acceptance by the mainstream for plant-based eating. Um, these companies are making more money than you could even imagine. But here's the thing, the ingredients they're putting in these things, if you have a paragraph that you have to read for your food to see what's in it, you should be putting that shit down. I'm telling you that for a fact. Now, a lot of people are becoming ex-vegans or ex-plant eaters, and I've come across quite a few of them in different groups that I'm in. Um, each person's body is designed a certain way. And while I believe certain ways when it comes to the animals, I'm not willing to sacrifice my life for it. And that's what it came down to, is my life. What I haven't told you is I've been to um, emergency care centers twice in the last month, month and a half. Uh, one put me on blood pressure medicine. Um, as a seven-year vegan, I got put on blood pressure medicine. Um, the other one diagnosed me with GERD, the gastroesophageal reflux disease. These com things come differently at different times to people. Uh, it just depends how long you've been eating this way. It depends on how your body's designed. Some of you can absolutely eat plant-based. Absolutely. If that's how your body grew up. As you matured and grew, your body adapted to that way of eating. So that's the video, this isn't a joke, and I am feeling a lot better. My conditions are reversing, um, it just is what it is. So some of you will have a need to unfriend me, that's fine. Um, some of you understand what I'm going through, some of you... Um, as you know, have contacted me in the past via uh, private message. Uh, we've chatted, and um, there are more of you than you think that have these concerns about your health. And um, you need to make the decision that's right for you and your health. If you're not getting better, to take care of you. You only have one life. <sighs> That's it. In a nutshell. Now you know. Love y'all. And I wish the best for everybody. Those that remain my friends, that's fine. Glad to have you. Love debating with you. And uh, just love our journey through life together. Take care, everyone.